So in the beaker here, um, what's sorry, in the evaporating basin, I have, um, we're going to be looking at the example of um, a reversible reaction. I have some uh, copper sulfate anhydrous, and all anhydrous means is dry. And we can see that it's a white colour. So what I'm going to do is just add some uh, water to this, and I want you to watch what happens to the colour. So you can see as soon as the water is added, it starts to go this really very, very quite nice blue colour. And this is the hydrated form of the copper sulphate. If I touch my own there so it all goes well. This is the hydrated form of the copper sulphate. Um, so this is a reversible reaction between the hydrated and the anhydrous form. So it's a reversible reaction, which means it can easily change between the um, hydrated and the anhydrous forms. Um, what I'm doing now is just heating it up. I've got my Bunsen burner on underneath the evaporating basin, and as the um, as the water evaporates, we should see it starts to turn back to white again. Now the terms anhydrous and hydrated can be quite confusing, um, but I like to think that the copper sulfate, that, that's the stuff, the white blue powder, um, is like a sponge. So the hydrated form, the blue form, is when it's full of water. And the white form, the anhydrous form, is when it's dry and there's not a lot of water in there. So it doesn't actually change what it is. It's still copper sulfate, but um, uh, it's just like, it's a sponge. It's spongy copper sulfate. So it's still copper sulfate, whether it's blue or whether it's white, but the blue form is just the um, wet form, the sponge, the soil of water, and then the white form is just the dry form where um, the sponge has been mingled out with water and dried. Um, this is written in um, a quite interesting way. You have your formula of copper sulfate, and then you have a dot in between the two of them, um, and that's where the water comes in. So you can see that the colour of the copper sulphate is starting to change, it's getting quite a lot lighter. Um, it does take a, a little bit of a while to evaporate all of the water off. Um, this can be quite uh, dangerous because you have to heat it up to quite a high temperature to make anything happen. Um, if I just give it tweezers, I'll give it a bit of a poke with the tweezers, you can see around the edge here, we're starting to get the white sulfate crystal, or the white powder form again, give it a bit more of a nudge to break it up a little bit. You can see the colour starting to get really quite light and around the edge we are developing that um, white powder again. There are some bits just, if I turn that around, there are some bits here that are almost completely white. Just give it a bit more of a help, you can see this bit here. bottom's white and the top's blue. So we're turning it into the anhydrous form. It will go completely white eventually. So just to remind you this is the symbol for a reversible reaction and as I was explaining earlier um, the copper sulfate um, hydrated form is just like a sponge for water and that dot that we use there, you might see that um, used a few times, means that the water is inside it but it's not actually like combined to it. So it's a reversible reaction and what it turns into, the um, water is released. So we have the anhydrous form of copper sulfate over this side which is white and the side that is hydrated is going to be blue. And if we just go back to look at our reaction, you can see that it's quite nice and white in there now. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.